Bienvenidos and welcome to all you sweet little cherubs out there. Today we're going to be making a halo in Beroid, and it's going to be pretty quick, so let's get right into it. I'm going to create a new procedural group called Halo, and I'm going to go ahead and start pulling the mesh up above the head, because that's where we want the halo to be, of course, and going to keep it pretty rounded. So just keep in mind that you obviously want to have a round halo. You may want to have more of an oval halo. That's what I'm going to go for today. So I'm just going to draw a little loop. And as silly as that looks, that's about all we need. So bring it in. And it's obviously wonky. So there's going to be some adjustments needed. And I'm not going to bore you with all this adjustment. So we're going to just blaze right through that. And now that we got the shape that we want, let's go ahead and we're going to pull out the mesh a little bigger. You're welcome to make yours bigger, smaller, you know, higher up on the head, more toward the back, more toward the front. It's all up to you. I like mine a little more towards the back. Very welcome to play around with the width and the thickness if you want a thicker halo or a thinner halo whatever your preference is. Play with the sliders. As usual when we're doing these kinds of accessories I like to make a straight curve and then make the ends meet so that way it's a little more seamless and a little more blocky looking. I don't want to have the actual texture of a hair for my halo so I'm just going to completely color that through. Throw on the mirror tool if you want to make that process go a little quicker. You're welcome to make yours white or yellow or whatever color is preferable to you. And if you want to add some weird little details, you certainly can. I'm just going to keep mine white for this tutorial. And that's absolutely the very, 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 very basic premise to this. Obviously, if you are a little more uh, detail oriented, you'll make yours a little smoother and less wonky than mine, but round, oval, it all works. Uh, you can make it bigger or smaller, whatever your preference is. It's just super quick. As usual, I just want to get you guys into it, knowing how to do it, and then make it your own. So I hope this was helpful to you. If it is, give me a thumbs up. If this was terrible, give me a thumbs down, and I will catch you all in the next video. See ya!